What is going on guys? Welcome to another Coco's 2D tutorial and in this tutorial what we're going to be covering is collidable areas but before I address that let me talk about something I got a couple comments in the last video I posted and whenever you guys saw the dude move around on the screen you're saying alright it would be a lot cooler if it looked like the guy was walking instead of you know just hopping from tile to tile so what I'm gonna do is when we finish all the basics for this game I'm gonna teach you guys about animation in Coco's 2D and you can have different frames to make it look like the guy is actually walking from tile to tile instead of just hopping from tile to tile and make it look like a better game and uh, you know make it funner for the user but for now I just want to cover the core um, you know the core programming and then we can get into the advanced intricate stuff but we don't even know what animation is in Coco Studio yet so we'll just leave that alone for now so like I said what I'm gonna be covering in this tutorial is collidable areas on the map for example our dude was able to hop into these trees and he was able to hop on the fence and on the mountains but when we're programming a game and if you ever played a game like Pokemon or Zelda there are some areas of the map that your character just can't go these areas are off limits so what we want to do is set these areas to collidable so your guy just can't walk right through them he's gonna have to bump into them walk around them do something else but just be able to walk right through them because you know if you can walk through anything what's the point of having map so let's go ahead and do that right now how we do this is the easiest way is just to add a new tire tile layer not tire layer so go ahead and press layer add tile layer and then just go ahead and sticking with our two letter convention let's just name it st and make sure you have that layer selected and then go to map new tile set and what I did is well for the name you can just put like uh, special tiles and I went ahead and I downloaded this one off the internet open and make sure your margin and spacing set to 1 1 and I'll post this in the link below so you guys can download it too and uh, you know work with me from this tutorial but what this is is someone made this and it's pretty much this a red block with partial transparency and a green block with partial transparency and they made this so you can just paint over any image that you want the person to collide with and it's you know it's a lot easier way it's a way that you can visually see on your map um, when you're developing the game what areas you want to do to be able to collide with so enough of me talking let's just go ahead and uh, do that so go ahead and select that red block Ugh, it's gonna turn blue Did my voice just crack that's kind of embarrassing alright so select that it turns blue but we know it's still red and hit your stamp tool right here and now paint any areas that you want your dude to collide with and as you can see since this has partial transparency you're still going to be able to see the underlying image but you clearly know since it's painted red that this dude is not going to be able to walk right through this part of the map so I'm not going to want him to be able to walk through the mountains or the fence and I'm also going to want him to be able to bump into the trees not going to be able to walk through that so go ahead and paint all of these red there we go again he's probably going to be able to walk through a patch of flowers and the grass and obviously the path so only paint the things red that you want him to have to bump into just like that so now what we need to do in our program is say alright these red tiles we need to give them a property so whenever we're writing this in code we need to be able to identify these tiles so here's how we do this in your uh, tile set right here go ahead and right click this red tile and click tile properties just like this and now we want to give this a property and you can name it whatever you want just name it collidable and give it a value of true not try true just like that so this is the part in our code that we're going to be able to identify these different tiles what we're going to be doing is saying all right there's some tiles and they have a property of collidable if that's equal to true then don't let the dude move there so you know that's a little preview of what we're gonna be doing but for now make sure everything's spelled right alright looks good and click OK and now what we have to do is file save and now go ahead and quit tiled 
And now what we need to do is actually import this in our Xcode project. So go ahead, open Xcode, open RPG, just like this. All right, so now, again, if you didn't know, that was named Bucky's Map. So now what I'm gonna do is delete this old one and also move it to your trash. It's very important, actually. Now import this new updated one, resources, just like this, and go ahead and copy this and add. And you also need to import this tile set right here. Copy, add, looks good. So now let me make sure. All right, this all looks good right here. Again, um, this might have a different path. If it is, just change it to your main, uh, you know, no path at all, just straight file name dot ping. But anyways, now that everything should be updated, oh, another thing you're going to need to do, and trust me, you need to do this or it's going to mess up, highlight your main project right here and click build, clean, all targets, and clean. And now it says clean succeeded. What this means pretty much is even though you imported your new map, it might have like the old map in memory so whenever you build your project and things aren't working you're like alright I imported my new map everything should be refreshed it doesn't work that way you're gonna have to clean everything and then once it rebuilds it gets all the new stuff so that's another thing you might want to look out for but now that we have our map updated and imported and we have everything cleaned we're ready to begin typing some code but I'm actually going to do that in the next tutorials since there's a lot of code we have to cover and uh, not that much time in this video. So uh, for now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you got your map set up how you want it and then you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my forum. And uh, don't forget to buy my iPhone games. They're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Had to throw in a plug there somewhere. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.